Good day to you my friends, I'm Kenator and today we're going to be taking a closer look at not only the new trailer for Forever Skies, but the little tidbits they've released along the way. As you guys know from my other video, I'm pretty hyped for this game and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's dive in. The trailer kicks off obviously on the airship, which is your mobile base through the game and as you look out the front window, that's not rolling green hills that you see, that is the toxic layer of fog created by us. Humans continue to decimate the planet and this is where we have ended up. As the airship goes through we get clearer views of lots of wrecked towering buildings of various sizes. These will be the places we will be exploring in the game to progress the story, find resources and supplies like this sun melon for example. We can see here on the right this is edible but also has a risk of contracting something called sun ire. We have some extra info given to us here that this fruit will spoil quickly and has a low calorie value. This means we might need some fridges or some other way to preserve this fruit and other foods on our airship. Not only that, we will have infections and other health issues to deal with that aren't just from the toxic dust everywhere, but from the food too. And this seems like a good point to also talk about the UI. Over in the bottom left we have 4 meters, water, stamina, immunity and lastly your health. You'll have to keep an eye on all of these not to be caught off guard and short of water or healing in an emergency. But the immunity is an interesting one and maybe this alters how much of a risk is taken when consuming wild infected food. But I can't wait to see more on this. The atmosphere of this game, which looks amazing by the way, gets a nice little section here before we dive into a preview of two small areas to give us a taste of what it'll be like exploring. But then it's back to the airship to craft something in a small 3D printer. This looks pretty early on in the game with only a few survival based machines and objects to build, as well as only three tools listed here. The build tool, the extractor and the scanner. Some very simple materials are used here like metals, synthetics and a fuse to build this extractor and can we also just take a moment to just appreciate how clean this UI looks. Just ignore the placeholder art for the fuse. A few more ruins before we see the extractor itself in action. While this deconstruction method won't be available for everything in the world, it will be a key way to boost your resources to make new components and expand your airship. Also just look at that effect, it's just so good as is the wind effect going around this airship. This tiny snippet of airship shows us quite a lot as well. We have floating debris at the bottom of the screen, more on that in a bit. The airship also has two flotation bags instead of just the one as we've seen in other images of the game, which means this is just yet another way to customise your airship. Hopefully it's not just for looks and has stat effects too, like lifting a capacity or speed or even extending your build area. The panelling used on the airship looks a little bit basic too, and I'm sure I've seen this look different in an earlier trailer. Perhaps better panelling and materials can withstand the toxic environment better. And lastly we have these two little jet engines on the back of the airship and we'll see these again later too. Moving on we also have weather effects as we've seen from the other trailers to contend with and then a much better shot of the floating debris that you'll need to avoid or possibly collect later on through the game. We also see a new knife tool here for harvesting this plant and this cute small creature that looks like a giant insect. Aren't we cool if this could be a pet? Ok maybe not, he wants to kill us. Not only that but if you look above the health here it will say unknown disease. Well that can't be good. Our trailer hero now runs back to his airship to fix himself in this medical chamber bed thing. But now we can also see the disease is now named and has a timer. We could end up facing either worsening symptoms or even maybe death if this is ignored. And given the fact we're running, it seems like this one might be a big deal. After jumping in the bed and dissecting themselves, we are treated to a first look at the crossbow. We'll be using this to defend ourselves from those little creatures and maybe something else. But also for knocking down items from unreachable places or collecting fruit from tall trees or plants. Back to the weather and the lightning looks to be a serious concern for the survival of your airship as it can cause some pretty serious damage. Thankfully the game has a goop gun, that's right I'm calling it the goop gun. This must have some sort of nano material that fixes stuff as we've only seen this put on damaged components through the trailers that have dropped so far. We get this nice shot of the thruster burning for extra speed before our final shot of the trailer showing a different airship entirely. 
This time we have just the one flotation pod, and the interior areas seem to be split into three different areas linked by stairs. Very cool. So lots to take in from that trailer, but on the run up to this trailer we've also had a steady but slow drop of new info and images about the game. So let's take a quick look at just some of these. First up some interior shots that show off just a taste of the customization for the game. And this yellow interior has a little throwback to before the game was named and it was called Project Oxygen. Of course being a survival game and as we saw in the crafting menu earlier there are machines that you can build to help you along the way. The screenshots we have here are of the water collector and of course there is a purifier to get rid of any contagions and other nasty stuff that you don't want in your drinking water. The extractor we saw earlier also has a big brother, the heavy extractor. This is mounted on the airship itself to get large objects and it has a longer range and this just looks amazing to use. But you won't have to use it alone as there will be up to a 4 player co-op in the game too, so you don't have to face this ruined planet and the skies alone. And trust me, there might be a reason to bring some friends as well, as I'm pretty sure there might be some big threats out there to face in Forever Skies. And that's all I have for you today for this upcoming game. There still isn't a release date for this early access title yet, but you can join the Discord and I've provided a link for that in the description below. So do subscribe for more info and other news on other space and sci-fi games. Thanks for watching. Kenator out.